this is the latest book that Alfonso Pucero and I have just published this year. And if I would have any subtitle for the complete project manager, it's kind of like everything I wish I'd learned when I started my career. Because the PMBOK, the Project Management Body of Knowledge that uh, is put out, the guidebook from the Project Management Institute, is a very basic, a very powerful reference manual. But it doesn't quite say how to get all those things done. And that's our job as a project manager is to get things done. And it really is a wonderful profession because it really inspires and draws upon many disciplines to be totally successful. You can see on the screen here now just a few of those that we have highlighted in putting this material together. I spent uh, 22 years at HP, and along the way, I actually, prior to that, uh, I had uh, taken the course on uh, uh, and, and met this uh, person who authored the book, Project Management as If People Mattered. It was Dr. Robert J. Graham. And I really loved that this was the first book that integrated the behavioral side with the technical side of project management. And Dr. Bob was a cultural anthropologist, and we brought him into HB where I was working, and I really got to know the man, and, and then he wanted to write more about some of the good things that HP was doing and some of the things around the environment. So if you put the project manager at the center of a molecule, what's around that person that helps them be successful or thwarts their ability to be successful in doing projects? And that led to the Complete Project Manager, which was the first book we put together. And subsequently, we worked on creating the project office. We, we wrote about project sponsorship and then pulled a lot of it together now in each of these 12 pieces of the puzzle about the Complete Project Manager. So that's what I'm going to share with you today. It's all about integrating these various skills. Well, I have long been a California resident and native, but I have, uh, this, over this past year, moved to southern Utah. So I am now in uh, St. George, Utah, which is in, in the lower left-hand corner of the state of Utah, far away from the storms in the east coast and, and, and uh, loving it here. We've had some beautiful weather. In the upper left there, I'm standing right at the uh, front door at the time of the house we built. Right now, if I were standing there, it would be blocked by the front door, but we still have that beautiful view of the Red Mountains in the background. My colleague Alfonso is actually based out of Spain. We have seen Alfonso on many occasions around the world. He was just in Vancouver at the PMI Congress presenting a paper there. He's been a fellow of the Institute Distinguished Contribution Award. And so it's just been delightful to have his many years of practical experience combined with mine, we both have sort of a lot of experience in doing projects, but in different ways, so it led to a really good partnership. So I'm really delighted to be able to have the chance to have uh, his expertise and his stories as part of the whole process. So to kind of introduce our topic of the complete project manager, I want to just share with you a real job description that I found posted about what is being asked these days of project managers. And this is a hands-on, get the job done. And that's what our profession is. We get the job done, and our attitude is going to have a big difference in how we do that. So, yes, you, you understand the theory. You know the roots that uh, support the tree, the theory of project management principles. But even better, you know how to adapt them because every situation is going to be different. You're a fan of process. In fact, I was speaking at a Project Portfolio Management Conference one time, and I was surprised a couple of speakers before me said, well, I'm not a process person. But when I got up there to speak, I said, well, I am a process person, and that's what I want to share with you today. So I think process is very important for us, that we have a body of knowledge that we can use a given process, but only the right amount, that we know how to tailor it. I was working with one company that said they had all these templates and all these big processes, and it was just really very difficult for a new project manager. But what I found out is that the experienced project manager said, yeah, but they're all there as guidelines. We don't have to use them all. We just know how to adapt them. And that makes the difference between being often a successful project manager versus being overwhelmed by the task. So you understand the drive issues to conclusion? That's right. Issues come up. There's no project without issues. I have... In doing our house build project this last year, we've just moved into it now. And, yes, we've had a lot of issues come up. 
And I've tried to practice everything with having a good vision up front, put as many requirements solidified as we can, be the project sponsor, be hands-on, be right there every day to make decisions quickly. But there's still things that come up. And, and that's life. That's the nature of project. The key difference of people who are successful is that they are stay on top of those issues. They get them resolved. And they know they have the skills to make them get resolved. So that takes being a great communicator. And, and I like this statement, you know, we have to pester people many times because a lot of people don't follow through on their tasks. They don't make commitments. And if you are on top of it, they're going to appreciate that. They say, well, you know, it kind of bugged me that you were always on my back to, to try to get these deliverables done. But, you know, I'm glad that you did follow through because uh, I had a lot of distractions and you helped me focus and get it through. So the key thing is going to be you have a track record for delivering projects and we do have increasingly a fast-paced, constantly changing environment, and that whole process is accelerating. So that's kind of a background of, of what we need to address in this profession. So my premise here as a complete project manager is that what you do is you integrate all of these things. There's people skills, there's organizational skills, and, of course, like any other profession, we have technical skills. And to be successful depends upon completing successful projects. That's kind of what it's all about. So that happens by skilled project managers and skilled teams, and you also have effective project sponsors. And I know there's a lot of ineffective project sponsors. There's a lot of accidental project sponsors, just like there have been many accidental project managers. And so it takes getting them up to speed as well. So part of uh, what is important is to manage up the organization and take the initiative to manage your sponsors. So it's my premise uh, with Alfonso that it's the integration of all these people, organizational, technical skills, and the disciplines that makes the difference in achieving not just any old outcome, but really optimize that you're effective and efficient, that you do the right projects and you get things done right. And that's my aspiration probably for every one of you who are out there, is that you can make a difference in your environment. No matter how toxic or green it might be, you can make a difference. My challenge is, is that, oh, let's say five years from now, or whenever you might be retiring or somewhere down the line, you look back upon this time and said, you know, I had some challenges there, but I made a difference. I left a legacy behind. I did something about it. That's what I'd like to really see that you as one of your takeaways. So the ultimate aim is we can begin that process. We can establish that uh, the right mix of professional uh, soft and hard skills that allow you to operate more successfully. And for some of you, this might be a validation. Yeah, I'm already doing that, and that's a good thing. And for some of you who might be a little bit newer, who are trying to give you a roadmap to say, here's some things to think about, because it's not just the – getting the scope schedule and resources done or doing timing charts, but it's, it's more, it's a larger picture. So if we quote the CEO of the Project Management Institute kind of addressing this particular topic, here's what Mark Langley said. It's not enough to have those technical skills. We also need the leadership, the conflict resolution, negotiating skills. And he keeps hearing over and over from organizations. We're looking for the next business leaders. And you say, hey, it's about time. And the project manager is a great discipline, a great stepping stone for some of you, or a career path as a way to be a leader in your organization. We also, part of our visualization for this material is to use a molecular combination that you see in organic chemistry. So many things have been developed our technology, our products, the things that we see around us have come from chemistry where molecules have been put together in various combinations. 